insight from inside the Calhoun County Jail, home to 500 inmates. Anytime you're dealing with people, we're complex beings. Normally when something bad happens, it's a human error. In the days since Deputy Vicki White took her own life, Sheriff Matthew Wade of Calhoun County wonders. How come, why people want to blame Sheriff Singleton? Or they want to blame X or Y? You know, in America, we got to learn to take responsibility for ourselves. And somewhere down the line, she made some decision somewhere where she thought that was a better idea than doing the right thing. Maybe it was a mental health issue that she was going through. I understand she lost her husband. Things happen in people's lives. And once again, there's no resources. There's not a, an EA, there's not an employee assistant program. At the county jails like this one here in Calhoun County, there's constant interaction between inmates and corrections officers. The policies, the procedures, well, they're only as good as the people involved. But if somebody tries to devise an evil plan to make evil happen, it'll make it so. Look at 9-11. Inmates manipulate people. Inmates try their best to, to crack the armor of officers. And uh, on occasion it does happen, but uh, ultimately that officer had to make that decision. And uh, it happens around here. I arrested a correctional officer uh, last Friday. Bad apples are rare, but this is mighty tough work. In the state of Alabama, there is zero requirements, training requirements, educational requirements. There is zero requirements to be a corrections officer in the state of Alabama. They all get their training on the job. And that is some tough job, Sheriff Wade tells me. All 3,000 sheriff's offices around the country have been thinking of ways to prevent future escapes like the one here in Alabama. His jail is being thoroughly renovated, but he says no amount of technology or policies can defeat every manipulation or dishonest act. Jeff, is, is Sheriff Wade familiar with his counterpart for Lauderdale County? He absolutely is, and he calls Rick Singleton a fine sheriff, an even finer human being. In fact, Wade told Singleton today how much he admired his transparency and his efforts during this escape ordeal that ended, as we know, earlier this week.